Hey guys, my name is Nicolette Mashile, also known as The Financial Bunny. Today I'm talking about how to set up your black tax account. What's a black tax account, Nicolette, you may be asking me. Well, I've decided that, you know what, we have dealt with this black tax issue for too long. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be putting on my, um, I'm going to be doing my skincare routine. I've already washed my face with the Avon Anew Gel Cleanser with charcoal extract. So now, of course, I am going to be cleansing my skin with this, the revitalizing micellar water, right? Micellar water is amazing. It melts off all the dirt off your face. Anyway, so while we're having that conversation, I want to talk a little bit about black tax. For those people that may say they do not know what black tax is, black tax basically for me the name very wrong but it's fine we'll use the phrase for today so it's basically when you are financially supporting people it's not it's not always your family members because sometimes it's people that took care of you or people that you know you feel are very important in your life that you're taking care of don't mind my hair guys you know it's very early in the morning we're still doing morning routines here anyway so um so these are the people that you are financially supporting right sometimes black tax can come in the form of time or uh, uh, actions that you've got to do. So things like helping out in the family, doing this and doing that for your family members or people that are really important to you or in your life, right? So anyway, um, I, I write about black tax in my book. It's one of the chapters. I had a conversation with my dad about black tax. And the one thing he said to me was, Nicolette, you need to understand the why. Why are you doing a certain thing? Why are you sending this person money? Why are you, when this person asks for money, why do you feel compelled to be able to give them money? And, and that for me kind of started making things make so much more sense because I was like, okay, if I'm looking at my baby sister and my baby sister says to me, Nicolette, I need a, 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 a because she's at Vega, right? And we know Vega has got all these um, demands of our stu their students. So if they say she needs a new uh, software on her, laptop then i know that that is going to help her in the future so that's a black tax i'm willing to pay right because for me i don't know if she's going to be a good investment um and she's going to yield some results in the future but it's worth me giving her a chance if for instance my mom says nicolette um uh, we need money for, uh, because like for instance, this weekend she was throwing my grandmother a, a surprise birthday bride. Okay, sharp. That sounds like something that I'd like to do. I know there's no return on in that investment. It's not going to come back to me, but it's going to come back to me in, 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 in happiness. I'm going to make my grandmother happy and I'm making my mom happy because I'm able to give my mom something that she can actually give back to her own mother. So in actual fact, that is like paying back the years of these people, these two people, my mom and my grandmother, nurturing me and building me to become the woman that I am today, right? So, so that's a black tax I'm more than willing to pay. Then there's that black tax in a... Ubuloi. Oh, now I'm using the vitamin C. Um, 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 what do the uh, uh, thingies do? The, 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 the influencers, they do this. So, so, so that black text that has got Buloi is that black text where people just ask because they go to your Instagram, they saw that I was in Durban living a soft life, and then they're like, oh, she's got money. She must come here. Let's borrow some money from her. They don't have reasons. They will give you some fickle reason that just doesn't make sense. And it's always an, oh, an emergency with them. Like, you're just like, listen, where did you come from? Where did you come from? What do you want, honestly speaking? Because, and let me tell you about those people. Their black tax will never, ever be enough. You will never be able to satisfy those people because they'll keep asking and they'll keep asking. They don't even think of you. You know, every single time my mom asks me for any type of financial support, she always starts off with saying, I feel so bad. And I can generally believe that she feels bad. These ones don't even say they feel bad. They're just like, oh, hey, say, see, hey, 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 this and this and that, this and this and that, hey, somebody got jailed and then this happened and then that happened and then we lost our money in the river and then we don't know what happened and then after that everything poo and then please can you send us five thousand and you're like whoa hold up don't stress me oh hey nicolette seeing as you live in johannesburg your cousin's man bunny is coming through can you please hold house them it, it's not just housing them it's housing them it's transporting them to wherever they need to go it's feeding them it's coming back and they've done nothing in the house they've just no that is naughty black tax. 
I black text is seal okay? So we don't play that black text. Not with me. Uh -uh, I'm sorry about that. So, so every single time you sit back, you have to ask yourself why. Because the black text that you're going to be paying or the financial support you're going to be giving to somebody needs to give you an inner peace or needs to give you an excitement about that person's future. So for instance, when it comes to my little sister, I'm like, yes, I'm excited because her future is being secured. In actual fact, I'm securing my bag later on in life. With my mom, I'm like, yes, I feel inner peace. I can help. You know, I feel like I'm part of the family. I'm contributing. I'm giving back to the people that have given so much to me, even if it was not financial from their side, but they've, they've, they've built me. They've grown me. Every time they see me, they celebrate me. Guys, my grandmother thinks I'm the greatest thing in the world. So every single time she thinks that I get happy, my, my self-esteem is, 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 is raised. My confidence is raised. So I'm just like, yes, grandma, I'm going to do anything for you, right? And then there's the baloi. Then you're like, ah, uh, ah, uh, I'm a sin, Bagelawa. These ones don't even take me seriously. And let me tell you again, let me repeat myself. Whatever it is that they're asking from you, whatever you give, it will never be enough. You give them 5,000, they're like, yeah, but you could have given us 10,000. Like I had a grandmother the other day send me a message saying she's going to go on a church tour, she needs perfume. Honey, who are you trying to smell good for? God, no. No, you're being funny. You're being funny. You are being funny. Coco, you're being funny. Okay? So, so it is important. But anyway, moving right along, um, I wanted to talk about the black tax account. So I've created what's called a black tax account. So if you log into my accounts, you'll be able to see. Uh, guys, me and my accounts are very divided. They're at FNB, they know. I've got account after account after account after account because I open different accounts for different things. So as I said, I've got a black tax account, right? Now my black tax account, there is a structured amount every single month that I have made peace with myself that I am going to put into that account every single month. So I put 2,000 rand every single month into my black tax account. Whether they ask for it or whether they don't ask for it. They don't know how much it is that I'm putting there. They don't need to know that. It's got nothing to do with them, but it is there. So when they do ask, I just go into my black tax account. I take out the money and I give it to them. I don't even feel it because I don't want to get to a point where I have just earned money. Let's say it's a hard month and I've worked really hard and I've had to wake up early in the morning and I've just gotten paid. And then somebody says, hey, hi, Nicolette, can you please send us this? Or Violet says, hi, Nicolette, I need this and this and this and this for school. Or hi, I need this and this, this, this for where I stay. And then all of a sudden I'm like, you are, uh, 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 you're stressing me. I don't want to have that sinyama that's over my head when it comes to giving money to my family. I want to give it to them with an open heart. So I have now disciplined myself to put money away for whatever I need to do to help my family members. So that money sits in a different account. Every single month, whether it's used or not, it's there. So it's accumulating every single month. But of course, just like my emergency fund, it is in an interest-bearing account. I don't play like that. I don't put money away where it's not making other money because that's silly as whatever. Anyway, so how do I fund my black tax account? I have created an additional income stream for my account. You will notice that I used to do influencer work for financial institutions, right? Now I've moved my influencer work and I do influencer work for non-financial brands. So right now I'm using the reversal list. You might not be able to see it. A new reversal list by Avon. This is my day cream. By the way, it is amazing. It's for people my age with a great skin like mine. Except that I've got these black marks, guys. I need to get rid of these black marks. Oh, wow. I mean. So anyway, um, so yes, if you see me do any influencer work outside of financial institutions, just know that's my additional income stream to be able to pay for my black tax. So I really appreciate these brands because let me tell you, these are the guys that help me be able to be a big sister, a daughter, you know, a, a, a cousin, an aunt. And I, like, wow. So I always say to people, you need to make sure that you do have an additional income stream for your black tax account so that it doesn't feel like too much of a job for you. Because, you know, we all have our one income that we all like, mm, this is my money. I really work hard for it. And then you've got the money where you are like, okay, I can create more money by doing other things so that I can fund other things. Oh, by the way, my money is ring fenced for black tax. Any influencer money is a ring phase for black tax. So sometimes I do throw in more than 2,000 rand every month. But every month, if I don't have influencer work that month, I still make sure that the 2,000 rand goes into that account. 
that's the account that I use. So even sometimes, let's say, for instance, when I go home in December, like last year, December, we on Christmas did not cook at home. We decided that we were going to go out to a restaurant. And instead of making my poor dad, who is a retired you know, living on pension money to pay for the lunch. I was like, no, don't worry, family. Nicolette got you. But I didn't go and pay from my main account. I went to the black tax account and I paid because I'm paying for family to eat. You know what I mean? So, so here are my top three things from this video that you need to ensure. Number one, you need to ensure that you know why you are paying black tax. What is your why? If you are not at peace with paying over those monies or giving the financial support, don't do it. No is a full sentence. Give them the no and say, thank you. I do have a budget. I just don't have a budget for you. Number two, you need to structure your, 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 your black tax account. Ensure that you have an allocated amount of money that you're going to be paying for black tax and you must be disciplined enough to put that money away every single month even if they do not need it in that specific month it is something that you have a conversation between you and yourself nobody else needs to know because you know that once people know there is a resource available they will always try to use it so rather make sure it's there but they don't need to know that it's there, right? Then the third thing you need to do is you've got to have an additional income stream to be able to fund your black tax account. It is so important because that will also dial back again to you not feeling like you are now having to take money out of the one main income that you've got. And it's, it's, it's just, it just feels a little bit better, I think. Okay, bye guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. Mwah, love you.